Let's continue playing Pokemon Red, the Nuzlocke Challenge, and unfortunately, we are down two Pokemon. Two rather elite Pokemon, really, and considering everything, and we I'm going to do something a little odd this video. We're going to go and deal with the sub-gym. Now, I don't think it'll let us in the proper gym, but it will let us into this one, the Fighting Gym. The reason we're going here is because Yorick should in theory be immune to most things. They might have a fire punch or a specific type of punch which might bypass this. But you know what? We have two Pokemon here. One Silga. One Yorick who should be reasonably good at this place. So, I meant to get HMO2 before I did this, but oh well. We'll make a start. Hooah! We're trespassing in our fighting dojo! Therefore, we fight. Black Belt wants to fight and he sends out a matchup. Level 31. Eve here he has so many levels on us, but we have the ghostly move Nightshade. And he shouldn't be able to hurt us. At all. Nope, he really can't. Mashup has nothing on us. Not sure what we'll do when we run out of um, ghost moves, but you know what? That's why we'll switch to Confuse Ray at this point. He's confused that he can't fight his enemy! And that did more damage than we were doing earlier. Lick to finish then, or not. A low kick which doesn't work, we might as well stick with the Nightshade then. One down! Yorick has defeated an enemy, gains a lot of experience points, and now we move on to a Mankey. Mankey should have even less that hurts us, actually. But we'll try and X attack. And we've got the paralysis down as well. Right, Confuse Ray. focusing, so he will do more damage with his next attack, but he won't hit us, I don't think. See how effective Nightshade is. A bit more against you. <laughs> and then with your extra attack power and focus. Yeah, you did a lot more damage to yourself. Well done. Level 19. Evolved form? Yeah, we might as well deal with this as well. Let's keep going for Nightshades. I'll probably use a Confuse Ray because it's going to be quicker than doing a lot else. Fury Swipes does nothing. Confuse Ray, though. That's major confused. Now, if Fury Ghost moves do have the super effective against Psychic moves, but all Ghost Pokemon in this game are Psychic. Um, are, are Poison types. The way we could get around that is if there's a TM which teaches Nightshade, in which case we could teach that to Mew, which might be an actual reasonable way of dealing with the gym. Confused no more, Leer. Our defense has gone down. And Primeape is defeated. And that's level 20 for Yorick. Yeah, we'll use whatever we can to get things trained into proper fashion here, but we are going to have to keep going back and forth a bit here. Oh, we don't have a fly anymore. Alright, well, we'll keep going with um, how we're doing here. We'll deal with the fighting gym this video, and then we'll probably try and finish off um, Giovanni. And hope it doesn't cost us any more Pokemon. Because it could do. It really could do. The other thing is that um, Storgar won't learn Psychic until level 40 anyway, so he needs at least 16 more levels to be competitive. He'll be very competitive once he gets it, but... The alternative is to teach him a load of the TMs we've got. Which means I'm going to have to do an inventory, probably off screen, and just work out what I could teach uh, most of my Pokemon here. So, right. We don't need the card key anymore. I don't think we do. I'll probably find out we will later, but that's fine. We have one escape rope we might as well keep, because it's always going to get us out of trouble. TM09 we don't need, and finally TM03. Up there. I actually do kind of need the town map, although we could go without it. We have six um, 
These are candies, but I'm reluctant to use those. I also have a dome fossil. It's not Lord Helix, but you know what? You might do in this case. Town map. Right, so let's go and teach... HMO2. Fly. And we shall teach it to Stilgar. It's a good move. It's super effective against fighting types, but Mew isn't immune to his their attacks, so we're not going to be using Mew there. We'll probably have to go and actually do the area beyond um, the second Snorlax. Just go back round there, training just these two Pokémon. Yeah, we'll dump that back in there, and we'll also dump the X accuracy. We'll also be able to catch a few Pokémon around there, actually. So did I get rid of the Good Rod? No, I didn't. That's fine. We'll be using that later. So, four more to challenge this video. Let's just rush ourselves a little. Do, 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 do. There we go. A couple of quick speed boosts, and we're off. Okay. Next up. I hear good. Show me! Well, you can't touch Yorick. Match off. You definitely can't touch me, Yorick. Level 32, though. Power is increasing, but we go with Nightshade. I hope I confuse Ray first. Confuse Ray. Or oh, we should find the EXP share. I don't know where that is. I think I'm fairly certain it's in uh, Future City somewhere. I'm sure I usually remember getting it. The EXP share could be useful. At least if I've got to train the lower level Pokemon, it would be. But Yorick's got this, I think. Level 21 for Yorick. And Machoke. Yes, of course we're taking on the evolved form. Why wouldn't we? Confuse Ray. And more Nightshade. He didn't do a lot of damage to himself, but we'll be okay. Our power level is increasing. Leer, which won't really affect us at all. More nightshading, please. Yeah, he's no longer immune to... He's no longer confusing himself, which is fine. He's not really the aim to do that, so... Alright, we've got enough to probably try the next one. Beaten? Thousand experience points for Yorick, and we move on. Judge, one point! Moving on. Nothing tough frightens me. I break boulders for training! Which is why we don't send out um, Zeratul at this point. One Pokemon. It is Primeape. Level 36. 15 levels on us, but we have Confuse Ray, we have Paralysis, and we have Nightshade. That's a fair amount of damage as well, actually. Lick won't do an awful lot because it's a really low damaging move. But it's double, confu double hit itself in confusion, down half health. I think we can probably speed on this bit, actually, to be fair. He can't hurt us, so... It's just the last two I'm not sure on. The boss might be able to hurt us. Because he's got both. Um, yeah, we'll go one more fight with Yorick. I probably shouldn't have done that, but you know. Hooah! Take your shoes off! Free Pokemon, Mankey! Yeah, Yorick's getting back into range now, which is all, all to the good, because it means he does more damage. And it means he's already caught up to um, where Stilgar is in terms of levels. Hurting Confusion, Nightshade. I'm going to have to stick with Elixir at this point, because I'm running low on those. There we go. Level 23 for Yorick. And the second Mankey, I think we're going to have to do this entirely on Licks this time, just to use them up. It does lower his defense as well, so... 
or something low as defense. Maybe that was him doing Leer, actually. Either way, 490 and a Prime Ape. Nope, we're fine with this. Go for a Confuse Ray. And Nightshade. 98 and level 24, so we've already matched where we are with, um... What about two Pokemon now? I give up. He seems confused about that. Still, overall that went about as well as it probably should have done. So, we'll go back, heal up, and then we'll debate what we do. I think the future EXP share is probably worth having a look at, if I can remember where it is. Silga, if you would. It looks nothing like that bird, although he can transform, so, you know. I'm sure there's an EXP share we can get from someone. Not from you. This is an item I'm probably going to have to look up, but we'll see. We could also go backwards along the route if we so wished. I'm like Safari Game Fetching Pokemon! Slowpoke, I'm Slowpoke, like, yeah, we talked to all of these people, I think. Hmm. Now we fixed all of his speech problems. Okay. I know I get the XP share around here, I remember that. Oh, she's in the Safari Zone. I think that I've got everything. New buckle cut, please. Secure. Oh, hold on. I know where it might be. It might be the Pokedex reward here. And if it is, that's going to present a problem, because we don't have enough Pokémon to get it. Fairly certain we need 50 by this point. Press Oaks Aid. EXP all. Have we caught at least 50 kinds of Pokémon? 25. Okay. So we can't get the XP all, which uh, would be rather convenient. So we are going to have to manually train our Pokémon back here. So that's not necessarily a problem. We do have moves at least we can use with those two, so we'll, we'll carry on and see how we go here. We have some training to do though. Definitely. It's not going to be entirely fighting based Pokémon here, so... Alright, so our first encounter on this route is Oddish. Oddish is not very helpful to us at this point. Still, we can go for a Confuse Ray. Right, so confusion, and we can lick you. I think we're actually kind of immune to this to a large extent. He has used abilities that can hurt us, but largely immune. He's not actually immune. Okay. So this is going to take a long time to train these guys up if we go do things the long way around. So we've lost our Pokemon on whatever route this is. 15. This is going to be tricky. I mean, the best way to train them is to actually just do what I was doing. Give them really tough battles that they have such an elemental advantage on that they will win. The problem with that is, I have to balance out what they can win. And it's helpful if they've got moves that allow them to do that. Alright, still gonna fly us back to Saffron. We'll go heal up, and then we'll have a go at dealing with the, um... With the fighting gym. If he does have Fire Punch or something like that, with his level advantage, that's 13, Yorick will die again, and he will seek revenge again. And it'll probably kill you sometime around Final Doom when he finally manages it. 
Because Finding do hit Psychic for a reason like the damage, it's the other way round, which is the harming side of it. Still, the other thing with this boss fight battle is if it gives me a Pokemon, I'm not allowed to accept it. If it forces me to accept it, I'll have to just get rid of it. But, this is the battle still. Nope, not Stilgo. Though we could use Stilgo if we needed to in desperate situations, but he's not immune. Alright, let's go for it. Hmm. I'm the Karate Master. I have a leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. <laughs> the Karate Master sends out Hitmon Lee. Right, we're going for a confused ready to start with. Meditate. And Nightshade. Thankfully they have a really high attack power and wow did you hurt yourself. One more. Well that was easy. The second one could be the problem for us because his fire punch is a thing. As is Ice Punch, and as is a load of other punches that will hurt Yorick. Confuse Ray. Comet Punch doesn't work though. Right, Confuse Ray hits. Let's go for a Nightshade. I love. I should really lick, but there we go. That's something. That did not do a lot at all. I'm actually surprised that did so little. Let's go for the paralysis anyway, because it's still safer. Alright, his speed's gone up. But he's already fast enough, so that's a waste. I was hoping for paralysis there. We'll go for one more. Alright, it hurt itself. Alright, nice shade then. No point in holding this on. There's another fire punch. He did about 14 last time. If he does another 14 this time, we're still in business. Crit ranges can become an issue though. One more hit. Confuse no more. Comet Punch misses. Yorick, you have soloed the gym. Given a bit of running back to the, um, running back to things, but you know. Yes, you are beaten. Yorick is evolving. And now he is a skull with a ghostly face with fists. Unfortunately, we can't evolve him to Gengar because we can't trade him. But still. Indeed, I have lost. Uh, in return, I'll give you a prize fighting Pokemon. Okay, we can just refuse it. Okay. And that's fine because we've already got Lapras. We don't need a second one. Which means the Pokemon we need to train now is Stilgar. I see this being a major, major problem. It's going to be a pain, at the very least. Okay. Next time, we're going to heal up, and we're going to attempt to fight Giovanni. He's mostly ground type. We have... We have a couple of Pokemon who can have advantages against him. This is still going to be tricky. It might even be worth me teaching Stilgar a water-based HM. If we've got one. I'm not teaching him Surf. I could make him a HM machine, but I'm not going to do that. Um, we'll see, though. So next time, more Pokemon Red Nuzlocke Challenge. Until then.